Hi, I'm Ollie from ElectroZoom. Now in today's video, we're going to be discussing fake electric scooters, in particular, fake Xiaomi's, or Xiaomi's, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Now, as a lot of us know, the Xiaomi has long become one of the most popular models of electric scooters, and for good reason. However, this does make it prone to being copied. Now, it is worth mentioning, before we go into details, that a lot of manufacturers in China will license their goods and products to be made by other companies, and that's perfectly legitimate. They'll have agreements in place for this. Sometimes those companies will only be allowed to sell a certain volume of the product, have to tweak the design a little bit, or only allowed to sell it in certain jurisdictions. However, there are cases, and it is ongoing, where a lot of companies in China will illegally copy goods and distribute them around the world. In this video, we'll be covering all those aspects and the things to look out for to spot a fake Jammy electric scooter. Now, first things first is the box. Now, of course, you might not always see this if you're buying it online. If you do receive the product, you can check it before you open up just to make sure it is a genuine Jammy product. You've got all the correct labeling down the side. You'll often see MI on a lot of Jammy products, often more so than the name Jammy itself. Now, Jami use MI for a couple of reasons. It stands for Mobile Internet, but also Mission Impossible. This is because Jami faced many challenges that seemed impossible to defy in the early days, and they put this on a lot of their branding. Even their website is mi.com. Taking the scooter out of the box, we've got some labelling on the side. Now, this is all unique to being a genuine Jami product. In particular, we've got the serial number. This is unique to your particular scooter. With that, that can be tracked back to the Jami factory. Now a non-genuine Jami wouldn't be able to connect to the app, so that's a pretty definitive test. The later models, the 1S, Essential and Pro 2, require you to do this from the get-go to verify the product and watch a safety video. In terms of design aspects, things to look out for are the general fit and finish. The reason the Jami is so popular is because it is such a nice, elegant design. Non-genuine Jamis often have exposed welds around here, they're not a single piece, which makes it pretty distinctive. It's not a genuine. Also, discoloration, so some of them are slightly dark grey or a black around here. This also highlights that they're not real. Checking the mud guards aren't a different grey also highlights whether it's a genuine product. Genuine jammies also have a lot of parts stamped with 9 bot on there, so this mud guard underneath has got a 9 bot part stamp on there proving it comes from the Jami factory. Now it's briefly worth mentioning about both Ninebot and Segway. A lot of us will remember the Segway products from the early to mid 2000s. Well in 2015, Ninebot acquired Segway. This is from capital that Ninebot had raised from Jami. So effectively, the Ninebot brand and Segway brand all fall under the Jami umbrella. So if you see Ninebot or Segway stamp marks on the Jami scooter, it is absolutely normal. We've also got the charger that the scooter came with. You can see here that this has got the Jami emblem on there. Also again, highlighting that this is a genuine product. A non-genuine might not have this. It also might have a slightly different charger and slightly different charger port. This is what the standard M365 and in fact all Jami models have. Having a further look around the scooter, we've got the Jami emblem on the side of the handlebars here and also on the foot deck here, the non-genuines tend not to have these there and are just blank. Now it's worth mentioning at this point that the M365 and Original Pro did have different uh, reflective stickers on them to start with. The earlier models came with a red reflector sticker, however later models come with this yellow one here. That's just to comply with EE regulation, these are a little bit more effective uh, and reflect light a little bit better. That's sometimes something that can catch people out, they seem to worry that this isn't an original because it's got yellow ones or vice versa. That isn't anything to worry about. The later ones come with yellow, the original early models come with red. Now we're not saying that all these fake products are bad, dangerous, however you do need to be careful where you're buying them from. A lot of them are made very very cheaply, as a result the battery technology isn't the best on them, some of the safety isn't up to scratch and can cause issues had reports and seen incidents where some of these have caught fire. They do use reasonably large lithium-ion batteries, so if not dealt with properly, can be quite dangerous. 
So you want to make sure you're buying a genuine product. Make sure you do the research on the retailer you're buying from. Ensure they're a fully registered UK company. They've got a premises or operation within the UK and the stock is coming from within the UK. If not, question them on that. If it's coming from China, it might not be genuine and you might also be liable to pay import taxes and duty when it comes into the UK, hence why the price is that low to start with. Also, if you do have any issues with it, returning it could be a real nightmare. Now at Electrozoom, we tick all those boxes of those areas mentioned and more. We're a fully registered UK business, VAT registered in the UK. All our stock is held and distributed from within the UK. We try ship everything out for next working day delivery and use a secure, tracked, signed for service. We're also FCA regulated, so we're regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. We've got a history of great reviews and a social media presence and also a telephone number. You can call us and speak to a real human being. We get a lot of people come to us who bought fake jammies unknowingly. The retailer in question has gone underground or eBay seller disappeared and they're unable to do a lot about their problem. Make sure you buy from a trusted UK retailer to get a proper product with a proper UK warranty and be safe. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's given you guidance on the different pitfalls people find themselves in. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on social channels. Thanks.